This is a really heavy poem that mentions self-harm, suicide, and rape. In March of 2000, a 20-year-old had a baby. She was no longer a girl, but not quite a woman. She wanted this baby so badly that she was too blind to grasp what would become of this baby's life. That baby is me, no longer a baby, but not quite an adult. You see, my life was very trying. I seem older than most at 17, but I still feel like a baby. At eight, my mama left me. I walked to the back room where she stayed, and she was gone. Door open. See, mama had a flair for drama. At eight years old, I felt unwanted. I hated myself because I thought she hated me. At nine, I began to believe the little girls on the playground when they told me I was ugly. I remember wanting to die for the first time. 10, mama came back, but my feelings towards myself hadn't changed. I still felt unwanted, unloved. I didn't even want myself. Jump forward to 12. I brought a blade to my wrist for the first time. I thought I could distract myself from the emotional pain by inflicting the physical. Thought I could cut away what I deemed ugly. Thought I had no power, felt numb. Mama did drugs in front of me for the first time at 12. I demanded not to be alone, scared of being alone, scared of what I do to myself alone. Summer of 13, I found myself alone. Took exactly 20 pills because they told me I needed 18 to die. I added two to make sure. I thought I wanted to die, yet I panicked after the last pill slipped down my throat, ran to the bathroom and forced them out. Mama wanted to hide the knives. Winter of 13, he was my best friend. I said no! I was 13. He smoked me out. I was dazed, but I remember I said no! Woo. Almost 14, Grandma died. We were so close, you see. Grandma raised me more than Mama ever did. Grandma was my true mama, closer to her than any other. She always knew just what to do. Fourteen, freshman in high school, I was always high in school. Pot smoke filled my lungs, but I wanted it to fill the holes in my heart. Became an alcoholic at fifteen. Thought I could drink so much that I would forget the holes were even there. Summer of fifteen, hospitalized for cutting worthless into my wrist. Papa made me feel worthless with his words. This gave him power. I thought I had no power. Sixteen, still drinking until I didn't remember who or where I was. Told mama to fuck off. Yet mama still calls. Don't want to know. Yet I want to know. Is she okay? Wait, I don't care. 17, waxing and waning sobriety, poor choices I don't remember making, learning to love myself, a trying process, yet I feel so much happier. I have power now, and I can reach it. Thank you. Thank you for that very powerful poem, very, very strong. Hmm. While the mathematicians round up the scores from, oh, just kidding, there's no scores. Oh, yeah. Let's hear some feedback. Hear feedback. Yes.
Do we have any others? Yes. If that was everyone, then Eric, uh, does anyone have a raffle ticket already? No? Okay, so Eric's gonna start handing out one to every person in the room.